Hello, welcome to Shimmerstick Artist, where you will experience all the unpleasantness that comes with me, including farting, sneezing, wheezing, oozing, sneezing, sniffing, whiffing, twitching, and sensory issues, as well as drooling. If you can handle that, then welcome to my channel. Let's just check that my let's just check that my channel is if it's working. I have to check every time that the audio is working. Who's there, Raspberry? Excuse my snorting, I'm very angry because I'm like a hippo. Um, yeah, so... Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Anton Skorupski. He was my father's friend. I don't know how my father met him, but he was my father's friend. And he was younger than my father. He died. My father thinks he was murdered. But, um, yeah. So let's go and read his biography. Anton Skorupski Kondinsky was a Ukrainian post war and contemporary painter. He was born in 1960. Anton Skorupski, his work has been offered at auction multiple times with realized pri prices ranging from 7,000 US dollars to 14,000 US dollars, depending on the size and medium of the artwork. Since 2007, the record price for this art at auction was 14,000. I don't want to be a Russian. 14,000 for I don't want to be a Russian artist. I want to be a Chinese artist from China ISM series sold at Phillips London and Anton Skorupski Kandinsky has been featured in articles for art media agencies. The most recent article is Anton Skorupski Kandinsky 1960-2014 written by art media agency. The artist died in 2014. So <clears throat> I remember he he used to come to my house when we were when I was a kid. You know, I remember from when I was like 11, he used to come to my parents' house and he was my father's friend, so he'd come over for Friday night Friday night meal. He was he was Jewish and um his art was pretty good and my father had for a time my father had for a time some of his paintings and then he asked my father to return them to him my father gave them all back to him but I remember like we had some of his paintings which were like I'm not sure if they were copies or originals on our wall at my, my parents house <laughs> and we got them so dirty we got them full of like <laughs> listen there were 11 of us. We would like. We would throw food. Raspberry. Come here. Good girl. Yay. Cup. So. We would throw food and stuff. Not, not that we would throw food on purpose, but you know, we get into fights. <laughs> you know, a lot of chaos with large, larger families. So you know, food would fly sometimes and like ketchup would land up on the painting and you know, it's uh... some of his paintings got destroyed in my parents house <laughs> but the truth I can't reveal all the truths about Anton Skorupski because uh, you know yeah, basically he was an amazing artist, but the problem was that, you know, artists don't make money these days. He was trying to make money, right? So, like, only artists only make money after they're dead, most of the time, right? Okay, so Kandinsky was born in 1960 to a family of artists in the Crimea, Ukraine. He studied at the Simferopol Somokisha Art College in 1975. 
1979. The artist was a private art student of Yevsi Yevseyevich Moiseyenko in St. Petersburg, as well as at the Ukrainian Art Academy in Kiev State Art Institute, where he studied at the Monument Department. Studio versus Chekhaniuk and M. Storosensko in 1980 to 1986. So he learned in like lots of places. Anton S. Kandinsky Skorupsky uh, graduated from the Academy with a Master's of Fine Art degree in 1986, also known as Chernobyl Year Graduation. In 1998, Kandinsky emigrated to the United States of America. Um, yeah, that makes sense, because that's when I was how old in 1998? I was born in 1989. Let's do the math. 19, 1989 to, to 19, 98. How many years? How many years? I'm not good at math, sorry. It is, I would, how old? Let's see, how old would I be in 1998? Uh, come on, give me a simple estimate. Is it that hard? What was my age if I was born in 1989? Okay, so basically 1989, 1998, I'd be nine years old. So I met him when I was basically nine or ten. He used to come to my parents' house. So let's look at him. He made some amazing paintings. I remember, like, my father didn't want to give him back his art. <laughs> he loved, my father loved his art. My father is very, very, like, classy. My father is very classy. He loves, he loves, like, my father loves architect. He loves antiques. He loves art. <laughs> So, images, yeah, so he made all different kinds of arts. This is him, oh, that's so funny. This was him, let's see him in big, visit. Yeah, that was him. So I remember he used to like, come to my parents' house. Friday night, for Friday night, like, Shabbos meal, and <laughs> he was, he would talk to my father a lot, and he was, like, always trying to, he would always, like, buy these, he'd go to the thrift store, Anton, right, he'd go to the thrift store, and I don't know why this is not showing, He'd go to the thrift store, this guy right here, and he would buy like these silk shirts, these fancy shiny dress silk shirts, and he would wear it and he would boast about it. He would be like, guess how much I bought this shirt for? <laughs> I bought it for two dollars. <laughs> this guy right here, this one, like, I don't know if you can see, the, this guy right here, the guy in the middle, the guy in the middle, this one. You know, he, he loved to like buy cheap stuff, like that were like quality and stuff that were quality on sale for a cheaper price. You know, like stuff that were like brand names he would buy for like two dollars, you know. So let's see here, where's Kim Kardashian? Here's Kim Kardashian. I don't know why it doesn't show here. I'm trying to maximize it on the screen. Uh, yeah, so he took pictures with Kim Kardashian in his art gallery, and he became very popular. My father is actually like a business consultant. He's very bad at business, my father, for himself. He's not a businessman. Like, he can't, he doesn't have the personality. You have to be very aggressive for business. You see, this is him. Right here, this guy. The guy with the glasses, basically, you see? I don't know if you can see the guy with the glasses. Look, the Russian looking guy. So, wait, 
one second. My father would give him business advice on how to become successful. My father was good at ad, my father is good at advising people for business, but he is not good at business himself, right? So, um, I don't know if you can see see him. This is him. I remember one time I had a panic attack and. He like felt felt my pulse and he's like, oh my god, she's yeah, call the ambulance. <laughs> I don't know why I had a panic attack. And yeah, he was there. I was like, I don't know, eleven. It was a bit embarrassing. But yeah, that was him. He was an artist. You know, so like all the years before he asked for the art back, he asked my father for the art back, right? All the years, my father, he asked my father to store the art in his closet. So my father has a closet where he stores, he has like lots of treasures. So Anton gave my father a lot of his paintings. So my father would like store them in his closet, <laughs> you know? So let's see, Anton Kandinsky, Kandinsky art. Basically, his name is not really Kandinsky. Basically, there was a guy, there was another artist named Kandinsky. Artist Kandinsky. I'm spilling all the beans. I'm spilling all the beans. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. <laughs> but, yeah, there's another artist called Kandinsky, and he's very famous. My father said, you know, if you attach your name, he told Anton, if you attach your name, to this guy, if you attach your name, add your name as his name, add his name to your name, then people will buy your art just because, you know, you're related, you know what I'm saying? And if anyone asks you, my father told him, if anyone asks you, you know, like, oh, uh, if anyone asks you, oh, are you related? What you have to say to him is like, oh, you only like my art because I'm related to him, right? So... Anton was way more artistic than this guy. I mean, like, what is this, right? <laughs> so this guy was an artist, this guy. I think he was another uh, artist. Vasily Kandinsky was a Russian painter and art theorist who is generally credited as the pioneer of abstract art. <laughs> Starting first at Anton Asby's private school and then at the Academy of Fine Arts, both in Munich as in Germany. Kandinsky enjoyed an artistic education fit for a member of the upper class. He re returned to Moscow. So he was born in Moscow in 1914 after the outbreak of World War I, where he helped establish a museum of the culture of painting. Uh, in 1920, Kandinsky returned to Germany and taught at the Bauhaus School of Art and Architecture from 1922 until the Academy. <laughs> was closed by the Nazi government in 1933. Yeah, so this guy, he's like a very famous artist and he like established a whole museum, whatever, in his name. So my father told Anton, because my father, you know, <laughs> he's kind of, he just suggested to him, he said to him, what you should do is add Kandinsky to your name and you'll become very famous. And that's what happened, he did that. He followed my father's advice after he became famous, Anton, basically he denied that my father ever told him to do. He denied that my father ever uh, advised him to change his name. But that's fine because, listen, that's fine. That's fine. You know, like, you don't want to be attached to a lie. You know what I'm saying? But... Um, this was Anton. <coughs> this is Anton, right? This is him. Listen, fame can get to people's heads. So after he changed his name to the famous artist of Kandinsky, this guy, Wassily Kandinsky, after he changed his name, he became famous and people began buying his art for expensive prices. 
end, he, uh, it got to his head a bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One thing about his art was his stones. He loved stones and all his art. Indeed, he did a great job painting stones and making it look like 3D. This is his art. You see that? Social eroticism. eroticism. <laughs> Yeah, so he used to come to my house. We knew him for many years, and when Obama was becoming president, when he was running for president, he called my, he called our number, he called our home number, he calls us up, and he starts asking, should I vote for Obama? Should I vote for him? <laughs> he starts asking, should I vote for him? Pizza is bad for cholesterol. Meat, chicken, and lots of veggies. Yeah, so, where was I? He's like, should I vote for Obama? And my, my father told him, no, you shouldn't because he is, he hates Israel. And he, like basically Obama's stance on Israel was, what was his stance? Obama's remarks on Israel. Israel has unshakable support of the most powerful country in the world. It is not going anywhere. Israel has a wisdom to see the world as it is, but this is your nature. Israel has huge courage. <laughs> So what did he say? Um, he said something about like Israel needing to go back to the 1967 borders, you know? For if, emphasize that a peace government must meet the needs of both sides, including by ending the conflict and resolving all claims. 1967, let's see. 57 border. We believe the borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines. This is what Obama said. We believe that borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines, which mutually agreed swaps so that secure and recognized borders are established for both states. That's what Obama believed that we should give back land to Arabs. Not back, but give lands, give our lands to Arabs, making Israel smaller than it than it already is, right? So, Obama calls for Israel to return to pre-1967 border. So, at the time when Anton he called my family, my father was telling him like Obama is not good for Israel because you know he has these belief systems and he is he has like Islamic beliefs. Like basically, like he bowed down to the imams in the Middle East, and even though he's kind of like gay because he's married to transgender women, apparently, but uh, you know, Obama wasn't good for America. He created the divide that there is still today. <clears throat> so he was arguing with my whole family about Obama becoming president, and we're telling him, no, don't vote for Obama. And then he voted for Obama, and then after that, I think, after that he was dead. He died after that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is him. He did a self-portrait that's hilarious. Um... I can't read this language. Uh, oh, it's hard. Yeah, so he used to visit our family. It was very interesting. He was actually the most... He was actually... He was like an artist, and usually like artists are like weird, you know, but 
He was the most normal guest we ever had in my parents' house. He was the most respectful, normal person that my parents ever allowed into our house. And that's a huge compliment because my parents allowed so many freaks to come into our house. My parents are very um, accepting, so they just let anyone come and there were so many freaks that came to our house that had problems but this guy he was like literally normal normal nice polite uh i think he had a family in ukraine where he would send back his money for his art the thing is like i heard he had a wife like my father mentioned but like the thing is, like, why did he leave his wife in, and his children in Ukraine if, like, he'd leave them alone and send them back money? Like, like, Ukrainians are very poor. It's a very poor country. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, Ukrainians are so poor that there is, there is actually agencies where, like, matchmaking agencies where Ukrainian women try to date Western men for their money and marry them to move out of Ukraine. That's how poor Ukraine is. And that's not a compliment to Ukraine, Ukrainian President, President Zelensky. You know what I'm saying? Like, Russia needs to get their act together and... Like the Russians, they're they're more. I feel like they might be more a bit more wealthy than the Ukrainians. <laughs> right. <coughs> what raspberry cup? Cup. It's okay. You don't need to guard the door. It's alright. <coughs> Come, raspberry. <coughs> I love you. Someone's outside my door. Oh, it's you. Should I let him in? Raspberry, should I let him in? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? What's so funny? Mm. What? Turn it I didn't trap you, so what? What, you're afraid of my cameras? Yeah. Why? Take it off. Why? Take it off. Why? What are you doing? Nothing. What? Nothing. You have to apologize to me officially. Uh, okay, I apologize. No. You have to give me... I'll turn it off, but you have to give me a whole list of why you're apologizing. What? You have to give me a whole list of why you're apologizing. What are you doing? I was talking about my father's friend, Anton, who died. My father believes he was killed by the Mafia. Yeah, it's possible. Because he would paint paintings and he heard too much. 